Hello YouTube, Homestead Handyman here. Well, you can see all my equipment sitting on this bench here. This is all the stuff that I use for sharpening. And so I want to make a sharpening area for uh, everything. And uh, hopefully at one point I'll be doing this as a small business. And so what I'm going to do is come over here. And this area, this little column down here, I want to uh, use this area to set up the... Uh, sharpening station so it's a lot of work to move all that chunk out of there and try to find a place to put it in a shop that's already maxed out so you see I have all those shelves right here these two right here close to me that I want to empty and then we'll see about that stuff down there at a later date and build a workbench here to um, accommodate my sharpening and then I'll be able to hang a curtain right up along that uh, beam there and just kind of keep the dust in there. So that's kind of my plan here. So uh, what I'm going to do is try to find a place to put all that stuff. Thinking about putting it up there. You see that is uh, a bunch of old cedar lumber and so I think I'll take that and put it out in the wood building. That'll give me two shelves there. Then up there is a bunch of junk that I don't really ever use, so I'm going to clean that out. And the other thing is that I've already started and disassembled this old shelf here and uh, put an extra shelf in there so I have all the stuff up there, neat and orderly, just the way I like it. Alright, well I'm going to get started on that and show you the progress later. You can see that my shop is pretty pretty maxed out here as far as uh, room to move with all the uh, equipment in here. So let's see if we can do something about that. All right, well, I got those shelves all cleared out, the lumber stack outside in the lumber barn, and uh, now I have some room to move these stuff to. All right, let me get going. All right, so I got all that stuff moved, and now I have these shelves emptied over here. It's a lovely, beautiful thing. All right, so I got the shelves all taken apart and uh, wrapped up, ready to go store them somewhere. And that area is all cleaned out. Now you can see there's more junk there because I had to move the boards. Because what's happening over in this corner here, originally when this was built, when we built it, I had the door swing, as you can see where the doorknob is. So that swings in and it just makes a mess here because we were going to do a different configuration in here and I didn't do that. So the next thing to do is to take the hinges off and try to rehang the door so that it opens so that the doorknob is over here. And then I'll have to get some fillers to fill that in and switcheroo the whole thing. So, the fun never ends. Alright, so I got the door off so all the air conditioning is going out there. Gotta hurry this job. Move the hinges. You can see there's one there. And they used to be on this side of the frame. So that's all done. It's kind of funky around here, but I'll fix that. And uh, those are all done. Now I got to go ahead and get the other side matched on the door. And I have it all marked out. Oh, I found this. Look at this. Rotted out. So I got some uh, plastic wood on order. And I'll take this all apart and uh, fix this up. Okay, so I got the door hinges mounted up there. I had to put a blank over where the other doorknob was because it started to rain, of course. Now I'm using this jig right here to drill the holes to put the doorknobs on this side. So I got the hole straight through done. And now I'm going to drill right through here and get the other one done.
All right, well, that is a wrap on that. Got the door all going the opposite way. I got some spacers that I have on order to put in here. But that's it. It goes the right way. The locks all work nicely. So now I can move on to building the workbench. All right, it's nice to accomplish something. Homestead Handyman, out. Alright, so I have this workbench that I had built a while back and uh, what I need to do is take this thing apart and retrofit it in size so that it will fit in there to use for my new sharpening station. So I'm going to start tearing this thing apart and getting it into the air conditioning because it's very hot out in the barn here. Very hot out in the wood barn. All right, so I took the bench all apart and put it back together again and resized it to fit right in here. So now I can start taking all the machines over here and get this set up for sharpening central. All right, well, that's the Homestead Handyman here. That's a wrap for today, and uh, we're moving right along. And so I'll uh, catch up to you when I get the sharpening area set up. Homestead Handyman, out.